Hey, what's up guys? Big day today. It is my return to YouTube 2011 and also a big day for Mac users. Today we have the App Store that is available. So I'm going to give you my take and opinion on it and give you a quick brief overview. Let's get started guys. Alright, so how do you get this App Store on your Mac? Pretty simple. All you got to do is click here on the top left, click on the little Apple logo, click on Software Update. At that point, you're going to be prompted to actually update all your Apple software. The main thing that you want is updating to 10.6.6. That is the only way to get the App Store running on your Mac. Once installed, it's going to reboot your computer, and you'll notice on your dock here, the App Store will be automatically put there, so you don't have to drag and drop anything. Let's get started and go ahead and launch it up. Very iOS-ish like is what I think. Um, if you notice here at the top, you'll have a featured top charts, categories, purchases, and updates. Um, just like you have on your iOS devices. Let's go on the featured, some quick navigating through, a quick banner, some new and noteworthy stuff, what's hot, and also to staff favorites. Most of my navigation will be actually on the top right, oh well not top right, but on the right hand side here, uh, top paid, top free, and top grossing. That's how I probably browse a lot of the stuff and along with the categories. Um, let's just say for example social networking, I'm going to click on that. Uh, let's look at the top free stuff here. We'll click on see all to see what's free out there. Um, let's get whistle phone. Now, how do you make purchases? That's one of the questions that people ask. All it does is ask for your iTunes ID and password, and then you'll be able to download software. So here it says sign in to download from the App Store. Here's my ID and password. I'm not going to show you that. So here it is. I'm going to press sign in. And it automatically now is installing Whistle Phone. Pretty simple, guys. And you'll notice in your dock, it's automatically loaded there, and you can launch it up. That's how easy it is to make a purchase on the App Store. So let me give you my take on the App Store. I think I really like it a lot. It's going to take some time to get used to navigating, because um, I'm just used to iOS. But uh, yeah, no, I really, really like it a lot. The only downfall I have on it is I wish it was kind of like OS X Lion-ish, that you could get full screen. Um, other than that, I don't have any harp on it at all. Um, the pros about it is uh, huge. Developers will be able to get exposure. A lot of people do not know what applications are out for the Mac. They kind of have to go to Bodega, you got to ask people, this and that. This puts it all in one hub. And this is what I really like about it a lot. Another thing, too, is once developers get exposure, that means discounts for everyone. Let's just say, for example, this an iOS... Uh, in the App Store, sometimes the application is $4.99, but one week it's $0.99. Cents. The same thing here. We're going to get some discounts on some applications that are really expensive. So, for example, one is like $50 normally. You might see it for $35. Bucks. Anyway, so we all went on this. I really like the application. Just wanted to quick get a quick brief overview of it, get my first video for YouTube started. Other than that, drop me some comments below. Yeah, he says he likes it. You want to see how say hi? Okay. Come here. All right. Sorry about all the noise. This this kid right here. He's growing as you can see and he's been keeping me busy the past year. Anyway, um tell me what you guys think about it. Do you like the App Store? What do you guys love about it? What you don't like about it? Another thing too, I have some videos in the past that I might want to upload. Drop a comment below if you want me to start doing that. Um, another thing too, if you want a tutorial or something like that or want me to explain something, I'll be more than happy to. Uh, so drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Much love. I miss you guys. Bye-bye. Let me give you uh, my take on everything. I really like the interface. Um, it's not like riding a bike. Woo! I don't even know where I left off.
It's my return to YouTube and also big day for all Mac users. So hopefully not all the Mac users, but um, we're going to give you a bit of <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, what's up, guys? Steve's Mac Fix. All right, guys. So how do you get the preview? How do you get the back? You're going to reboot your Mac. And then from there, you need help? Give you a quick brief overview how to get it and give you my thoughts on them. God. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Steve's Mac Big. <laughs> God. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'll give you a quick brief overview and my thoughts and opinions on it. Let's get started, guys. How many times am I going to say, let's get started? Hey, what's up, guys? Steve's Mac Big. I always nod my head like, why do I do that? 0.6.6 .6 for Snow Leopard. So, it is very iOS ish. -ish, 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 -ish. God, I can't get this right. That ID will be, uh, God, 